Hey there guys, this is Joffrey with Goose Lawn Care. Hey, hope all's going well. It's been a long time uh, since I've been on here. And anyway, um, just coming to you today, something that's really uh, bothering me and uh, weighing on me right now. And that is a proposal. Let me read it right here. New proposal to ban gas-powered leaf blowers in Illinois. Um, last week, a Chicago lawmaker proposed legislation that would prohibit you from pumping your own gas. Okay, so we had that too. Um, this week, a Democratic lawmaker from Chicago has proposed banning leaf blowers and wants to fine you up to $500 if you're car using one in Illinois. Uh, what else is going on in Springfield? Apparently nothing else to do. Apparently not. Illinois State Senator Laura Fine, Democrat from Glenview, has proposed legislation that would ban Illinois residents and businesses from using gas-powered leaf blowers. Now, here's her reasons, and then I'm going to give my reasons. Gas-powered leaf blowers are detrimental to the health of the citizens of the state of Illinois and the quality of the environment. Okay. Detrimental to my health. If anything, the backpack blower that I use has probably made me stronger. Okay? I carry it on my back, and the thing weighs, what, 18 pounds, and I lug that around? It's like getting a good workout in. Alright? Yeah, maybe some of the vibration from it. Okay? Maybe it's a little loud, but there's ear protection that I use a lot. Um... I don't know. And uh, the quality of the environment? Uh, I'll get more to that. Two-stroke and four-stroke engines used in gas-powered leaf blowers are admitting, admit exceedingly high rates of pollutants, including but not limited to, to carbon monoxide, noxious oxides, and hydrocarbons. Oh, okay. So... It starts with this, two-stroke and four-stroke engines. Yeah, now then, what are they going to say next? And they're going to take away my string trimmer. And then they're going to try to take away the mower next. Chemical pollutants that gas-powered leaf blowers emit can contribute to smog formation and acid rain. Really? I don't think we have that many blowers going up in Illinois that it's going to create acid rain. And I'm sure this is the big one here. Gas-powered leaf blowers generate noise at a decibel level capable of causing hearing loss in a short amount of time. But yeah, probably do. Okay? But we have ear protection. You know? Um, and that's your problem if you don't want to wear it. And that's the person using it. Right? That's not the Democratic lady sitting in her office. Oh, and it can send dust and other small particles into the air for considerable distances. Get to that in a minute also. Gas-powered leaf blowers send dust and other... Oh, I just read that, I guess. Send dust and other... Small particles in the air for considerable distances, included but not limited to animal feces, trace quantities of heavy metals such as lead, and allergens such as pollen and mold. Okay, here's my whole thing on this. You know what? California has bans on stuff. Other places have bans on it. That's fine. I don't live there, so I guess it doesn't affect me. But the thing is that this lady and this kind of proposal has is... Where do we live at? Does she not understand where we live? We live in the Midwest. We live in Illinois. What was Illinois started on? Agriculture. Okay? This is farm country. There are fields and fine soil, black dirt, good black dirt, some of the best in the nation, everywhere. And what happens with that dirt? Okay? Every year the farmers work the fields, Dirt is gone up into the air, 
Okay, and guess what? It smells good. I like the smell of fresh oil. All right? Stuff flies around. Dirt flies around. All right? We live on... This is a farm... Farming area. Okay? We have animals. Cows, pigs. It stinks. It smells. All right? She's talking about animal feces. Yeah. They spread that on the fields. Okay? They knife it in so it's not going to be airborne. But guess what? It's there. All right? I just don't... It just bothers me, I guess. This, this whole thing just bothers me. It's like, come on, lady. You know, this is uh, our state. And this is what it made this state great at one time was agriculture, rich soil, producing crops, okay, with dirt. And you're so worried about someone blowing a little bit of dust off of their driveway. You know, I don't know. It's just, uh, just frustrating to me. I'm sure this person's never run a leaf blower in their life. I'm sure they must have had a bad landscaper or something that didn't do it the way they liked and made too much noise. You know, we have noise ordinances. There's a reason we have noise ordinances. I don't know. I could just go on and on and on. It's just uh, something that makes me mad. But anyway, um, how do you enforce something like this? If it was to pass, which I sure hope it's not going to, but how do you enforce it? My thinking is I pull up to a yard, mow, trim, get out my gas-powered leaf blower, and blow it off in a couple minutes, two minutes, three minutes at the most, because it's powerful and it is efficient, and guess what? Put it back on the trailer, and I'm gone. Okay? I don't think in the area where we live, we live in a pretty conservative area is what I would consider it. Okay? Basically, all of Illinois is pretty well conservative, except for Cook County, where Chicago is. And uh, that's a whole other topic, but if we could get rid of Chicago... I would be fine with that. Um, anyway, I don't think probably maybe 5% of the people around here are going to really care that I'm using a gas-powered leaf blower. And so I don't know if people would even turn you in. I think people would think it's ridiculous. But uh, yeah, there you can't... I don't know. There's too many people who live on farms around here, too in rural areas, who's going to stop them from using it? Now, I'm not saying break the law, okay? I'm not saying I would want to be breaking the law because that is wrong. But to me, it's just, just, just plain dumb. All right, well, guys, <laughs> I don't know. Just thinking about it puts me in a bad mood. You can probably tell from my nature in this. Let me know your thoughts on this, please. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just mind-boggling. Hopefully it doesn't pass. I, at the very beginning, I said something about a gas pumping ban, too. They are trying to say you couldn't pump your own gas, that uh, gas stations, the attendant would have to pump it for you. Uh, how ridiculous is that? That would affect our business, too. Um, I would go to the gas station. It takes me 20, 25, 30 minutes sometimes. Okay? And is that attendant going to want to come over there and hold the nozzle the whole time and while it's pumping into my gas can? No. I'm going to tell him don't either. I'm doing it myself. Come on, what happened to our freedom here in this country? I mean, come on, people. All right, well, you guys are probably tired of listening to this. Please comment below. I want to hear what your guys' take on this is. I know there's a lot of battery-powered stuff coming on and blowers and a battery-powered market, but I, I just don't see it right yet, replacing the BR700, 800, you know, steel or an Echo or whatever you're using. I just don't see it. So anyway, hey, talk to you guys later. Um, I got to calm down. I'm getting too fired up. All right, see you. Bye.